Republicans want to kill a proposed anti-child marriage law. Let me, oh my God. Wyoming Republicans are planning to stop a proposed bill that seeks to place a minimum age requirement for marriage from being passed into law, despite being sponsored by a Republican lawmaker. The bill plans to set the minimum age for marriage to 18 years old. Exceptions apply to 16 and 17 year olds as long as they obtain parental permission. The Wyoming Repub Republican Party argued against the bill and in a campaign email detailing their grievances, further insisted that the proposed bill, quote, denies the fundamental purpose of marriage. They also said that since minors can have children even before they are 16 years old, teen parents should be allowed to marry as an option for the sake of those children. Even though Wyoming doesn't have any, any laws prohibiting teenagers from co-parenting. Anti-child marriage advocacy group Unchained at Last condemned the bill for being too weak and impacting only a small number of victims, especially considering that 97% of child marriages in Wyoming are to girls aged 16 to 17 years old. So let me break this down. In America, we have eight states that have no minimum age for marriage on the books. Let me repeat that. We have eight states that have no minimum age for marriage on the books. So you're telling me in the United States, there are states where you could legally have sex with like a 12 year old? No, oh. no. But under the right circumstances, you might be allowed to marry that 12 year old. Well, well, 12 year old that if you're married to, then you could have sex with. Yes. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Wait, let me ask my question again. And the answer apparently is yes. So there are, in the United States, there are ways for you to legally have sex with a 12-year-old. Yes. As long as you're now, married to them. There, if you are married. There are, here's the that's thing, what though. I meant. Sometimes there are some restrictions in terms of how big the age gap can be. So there might be some restrictions on that, but the short answer is yes. Okay, so what? Yes. So let me so, let me repeat that. Let me repeat that again. So there are an adult. So an adult, like a thirty-year-old. I don't know about that. A thirty-year-old can have le legally can have sex with a twelve-year-old in the United States legally i because there are married. some nuances when it comes to the age differences that are allowed i don't know if i can give that a full yes do you say yes do you say yes with a but piece it's of paper, it's yes. a, it's a, it's a possibility do you say yes yeah That's so crazy. this is so crazy let me break this down so wyoming currently has no minimum age for marriage on the books. And this law is proposing that they make the minimum age 18, and then there are exceptions for 16 and 17 year olds who have parental consent to get married. Now this, that's the proposed bill. And there are child marriage, anti-child marriage advocates who are saying that this is the, the bill that is proposed is so weak that it is not worth the paper that is, it is printed on because the proposed bill makes an exception for 97% of child marriage cases, 97% of child marriage cases happen between the ages of like 16 and 17. So if you're making an exception for 16 and 17 year olds, you're only protecting 3% of those who are vulnerable to forced child marriage. So advocates are like, this is, this is like the weakest version of this bill. It's not even worth the paper that this is printed on. And even so, Wyoming Republicans are fighting this. 
they're fighting the weakest version of this bill because they're saying that this is against the fundamental purpose of marriage. And they, I have to pull up this quote. Wait, give me a second to find it because it made me lose my mind. Um, uh, it basically, they were saying that um, if the if schools are not raising children to like be um oh my god it was basically saying like oh schools are institution institutionally like our bodies mature to have the ability to reproduce before our institutions give us that level of maturity to like make those decisions so we should have marriage da 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 which is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. It's not that the schools are not making children mature enough. It's not that schools, I mean, we have horrible public education in America, but it's not that schools are not making children mature enough to do this. It is that they are children and they are developing and they are literally not mature enough to do this. It's not because the state is failing to imbue the maturity they, in these, these children. People think like if you if under the right circumstances, if you like educate a twelve year old enough, you could call it mature enough for for sex. Basically, they think like it's based on the based on the environment. Maybe you can like hey like let's let's teach her history and philosophy. Oh, you're so mature. Get ready to get. I don't know what the hell. This is so stupid. Oh my God, these people and, are so stupid. Oh my God. The Republican Party sent out a mass email criticizing the bill, arguing that its passage based is its passage based on constitutional infringed on constitutional and parental rights, and further insisted that the proposal denies the fundamental purpose of marriage. Marriage is the only institution in the Wyoming statute designed to keep a child's father and mother living under the same roof and cooperating the, in, in the raising of any children that they together conceive. That is the natural right of every child. There is no law preventing an unmarried teen mother and father from living together in the same roof and cooperating and raising that child. But here's the thing. So, wait, 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 wait. That's that's just a whole bunch of nonsense in re in in replacement of just saying we want to have sex with kids. That's what you meant to say. That's basically that's just like the whole bunch of gibberish that like, yeah. hey, we are we're Christian fundamentalists and that's what we do. We have sex with kids. But go on. They want it's it well in that specific instance, they're talking about teen parents. In that specific instance, they're talking about teenage parents. But so Unchained at Last, which is really the one of the premier organizations in the United States fighting it, forced marriage and advocating for stronger laws against forced marriage and child marriage, go support Unchained at Last. They also do really good educational content if you want to learn more about this problem in the United States, because there are child marriage in the United States. There are forced child marriages in the U.S. Don't get it twisted. Um is they were talking about how like if you make these exceptions and carve them out where these marriages can still happen with parental permission you're de you're dealing with a situation where it's parental coercion like and parents are coercing their children into ha into getting married maybe because they were caught having sex before marriage maybe there was a pregnancy and now it's like a shotgun marriage you got to get married da 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 but what's so insidious about it that Unchained at last points out is that you are having people get, you're having children be married before they can open a bank account in their own name. You're having them get married before like a full litany of rights are available to them because they're still minors. You're having them get married while they are still too young to go to a domestic violence shelter if they need to. If they're being abused and they need to leave, they cannot go to a domestic violence shelter because they're still children and they need to have a guardian and minors cannot be unattended. So it traps people in very, very bad situations, very, very risky situations. 
And it's despicable because, so here's a quote from Unchain at last. What we're arguing, a quote, what we're arguing about in most states is the idea of entering a minor into marriage before they're old enough to bring legal action into their own name. And then what they're saying is what's really insidious is that what oftentimes happens is these children are being married to someone who is of an age where if that older person had a sexual relationship with that minor under any other circumstance besides marriage, it would be considered RAPE, either statutory or otherwise. So if under any other circumstance, it would be considered RAPE, you are having children marry. There are, the, 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 you know what I'm getting at here. The RAPE is. Yes. Yeah, I know. Because, it's just so awkward to say. <laughs> yeah, because because we what we understand is that in marriage doesn't make RAPE not RAPE. And if you're a child, now you are stuck with that person. Now you are easier to manipulate. Now it's harder for you to run away. So if the law recognizes that this would be RAPE under every other situation, it would be even more RAPE when you don't have a place to run away from, when you are living with that person, when you are a child and they're told and you're being told even by your parents that this is okay, you're being gaslit by your own parents, that this is acceptable. So it's still RAPE, but, but the law is now not going to recognize that one situation as RAPE. By the way, we have a lot of good points in the live chat I want to highlight. Some I know. That. Okay, go for it. Um, um, uh, <laughs> Gossip is saying, Mark Barr, those eight states. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, say death to those eight states. Um, he's also saying, has any child marriage registered in those uh, eight states already? I mean, yeah, no, they have. They're already on the books. Yeah, I, there are many the statistics. There are um, many. Yeah. Uh, despite it, these arguments, research shows a different reality for child marriage. Anti-child marriage advocacy group Unchained at Last said that since 2000, 60,000 marriages in the United States have happened at age gaps that would be considered a sex crime. If but the marriage gets them a jail get out of jail free card. That's 60,000 since the year 2000 and that's only the marriages that would be considered RAP under other circumstances. There are many other child marriages that happened beyond that 60,000. Yeah. Um yeah, Qasem is shocked. Um, let's go to, let's keep these shirts in them because we need to move on. Yeah. So read this comment. Diane is saying, and these are the same people removing books from school libraries because the children are too young. Yeah. And, yeah. and here's another point similar to that. <laughs> Captain Nader is saying, oh, you're too young to know that trans people exist. Oh, marriage. Sure. You're a woman now. Yeah. So exactly the, the hypocrisy. These, these apparently these are uh, these these people are old enough to have sex with, but too young to know about I don't know trans stuff. Like oh, these are the same people that say like if you tell these people about trans, they would just their minds will explode. They're not they're too young to understand these things. But apparently, yeah, it's not it's it's too sexual to tell them that trans people they are exist, but not sexual. But not not sexual. <laughs> it's not sexual enough for them to have, you know, your. I don't. Know, I don't want to say that because you took my like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. D is saying, train. and they are the ones that are anti-grooming. This is the party yeah. against grooming, guys. And they want to yeah. shut down the weakest anti-child marriage bill. This is this is actually the worst type of grooming. You know, grooming that has been legitimized by the state, that has mm -hmm. been endorsed by your parents. This is this is grooming. This is grooming with everybody involved. The children are told that this is okay, and they are believed to make this. Is, this is exactly grooming, and everybody is in on it. And they accuse other people. The hypocrisy is unbelievable. But we got a fifty-five um, euro super chat by GJ. Wow. That is Thank you so much. I'm, wow, wow, thank you, GJ. So, that's that's very generous. 
Take See, on having a constitution, the United Kingdom still does not have that, and the current absolute majority Tories UK government are pushing bills through Parliament similar to the US Patriot Act, injecting the worst venom in the Senate amendments. This is I, I know sometimes people say that the UK has an unwritten constitution, but this is why it's important to have an actual written constitution. Facts. This is why, yes. Guys, you have no idea how Taliban like the United States would have been by now if we if you guys didn't Yo. have a constitution. Like imagine the things that the Republican Party would have been forcing upon the people by now if you guys did not have a constitution. It would be an unlivable country. So every American should be thanking the the hells that, that you guys have this this one piece of document that is just standing between you and the full-on Talibization of this country. I swear to God, the Bill of Rights is like the sexiest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> okay. That's okay. one sexy bitch. <laughs> but again, DJ, thank you so much for the super chat. That's very, very generous. I appreciate that. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese gods, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.